guys welcome back to another PowerShell tutorial today we're going to be talking about a function I created it basically converts any data into HTML table for you so you can do get services you could do get processes you can get any kind of information and pipe it to my function or just store it in a variable and use that in the function and it will make it into HTML report so let's get started so start off with the advanced function I haven't filled any of this out yet. I'll probably work on that later. The function is called make pretty HTML. I use the advanced function, so for those of you that don't know advanced functions, just go to start snippets, advanced function, or advanced function complete, and it just populates the data for you. I removed a lot of it because we're not using most of it. So, functions make pretty HTML. Uh, first parameter, you know, value from pipeline as a property name, and arguments um, is false. Variable is the information we're going to be passing it. So you can use dash variable, and then you know, if you have a variable full of information you want to put in a table, just put that variable name there, and it'll work that way. Or you can just do like get service pipe to make pretty HTML. You can provide a title. By default, it's just called my report, but you can pass it anything you want. It'll name the title, which is the tab in the browser, whatever you like. Same with the header. The header is my report, but you can change it to whatever you want. And it'd be actually the header of the HTML uh, page. And then file path. File path is default, C temp, but you can change that anywhere you want. So the first thing we do is we get our computer name and we store it in computer name. We make a, a empty array called data. And then I did this because I was having issues passing get services. So you have to process each one. So I did it in the process block. So now if you have multiple items that you want to put in HTML to work, which is fine. So if we did get service, it would get each service and store it and keep adding it to data. And then we, at the end, we take data, we pipe it to convert HTML, we give it a title, which is our title variable, our parameter up top. And then I use a back tick for a line continuation. And then I use dash CSS URI. So I just learned about this. The, you can actually use CSS files. So went online, figured out how to do some CSS stuff, and this is the file I came up with. So, you, I've, I found that UTF-8 works with Google Chrome really well, so start off with that. And this is really just copy and paste, I'm not a CSS guy, um, just found some things online and played around with it. So I use font family, and I set the fonts, background color of the page, white, for the table, the table header and the table data make it one pixel solid black so it kind of puts the lines be all, between all the tables it's pretty cool I like it that way and then this right here is something I googled basically it iterates each line the background color changes so one would be like white and then dark gray white dark gray so even ones would be this color odd ones would be this color so I saved that and then I referenced that in my script so where that file is html.css I uh, probably could change it to CSS but and then pre-content is uh, your header so that's where we put our header and this is h2 is header to HTML code uh, post content is at the bottom of the screen the very bottom of the page it's gonna say ran from and it's gonna say the computer name so what server it was ran from or what computer and then it's going to put the date in brackets. And then the I is for italic. Um, then we out the file into the file path that is specified in the parameter, default C temp report. And then invoke item just opens the page for us. So you can take that out and open it later. I just got it here so we can just open it right away. So if we look at our code, we'll do like well, we'll start with uh, something different. So, well, we can do this first. So, get child item. 
So it's going to get jotted down from my C drive of all my folders. We're only going to select the name and the last write time of the files. We'll select the first eight. We'll make a pretty HTML. We'll call the title Cool Report, which is the name of our tab. And then the header is, we'll call it My my Files. And since these have spaces, I use quotes. So go ahead and run that. And boom. So we have Cool Report, title, My Files, name, last write time. And then, like I said, it's white, dark gray, light, dark gray. Ran from laptop at one, on this time, this date. So, let's try something different. Let's do git service. And then we'll say we want to select the name and the status. And then we'll say, um, yeah, we'll just do that. Let's get the name and the status. And then we'll do, uh, actually, let's see what, uh, we'll use get member real fast, see what values we can grab. We can do start type status, service name, that's what we want, service name. I think name's a short name, so we'll do get service. Select, we'll do name, or service name, name, status, start type, and then we'll do make pretty HTML, make the title services, we'll make the header my services and then you could do a file path if you want but default is ctemp go ahead and run that and there you go so services my service give you the service name start type scroll all the way down ran from laptop of one this time so you can do implement more things like you could you know just get running statuses or something like that uh, you can say uh, where dollar underscore dot status uh, status equals running. I think I have syntax there. Oh, yep, forgot my. And forgot my dash. Everybody makes mistakes. There you go. So that's going to grab everything, but it's only going to show the running ones. So if you want to clean that up, of course you can just do select. So just do select name, or service name. I'm just showing you how universal this is. St um, and status. There you go. Pretty cool commandlet. I'll add it in the comments below. Uh, comment. Let me know what you think. And thank you.